Hello Aries, welcome to Creators on the Crest. I'm Stephanie and this is your reading for May 1st through the 15th. We'll start off today by looking at your overall energy. Then we'll have a look at your specific energies, the energies connected to you at this time and how those are mingling in the middle. Do keep in mind these are general readings, so take only what resonates. In addition to your sun sign, you can check your moon, rising and north node sign readings for additional context. You can also cross watch for a partner, friend or loved one. If you're interested in a personal reading, I will have links in the description below. As always, your donations are much appreciated to help me grow my channel. That means so much to me that I can't even express. And you can find me on social media as well, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Creators on the Crest. Okay, Aries, let's get started. We're going to go with the Sacred Geometry of Relationships Oracle to pull the overall energy. As always, we're asking for the highest and best messages for you to come through and that those also be the highest and best messages for everyone connected to you. All right, Aries, you are starting off with the fourth chakra as your overall energy. This is the energy of the heart space, and it is connected to the number four on the card here. It says, the energy of the heart chakra supports our inner guidance system, which is governed by our heart and the capacity to love deeply. So lots of heart-centered energy showing up for you, Aries. Let's get into this reading. I love that as a start and as an anchor for your reading. All right. We'll pull some cards for your energies. All right. The energies connected to you. And how these are mingling in the middle. Okay. Wow, Aries, you've got some powerful energies surrounding you at this time. On your side, you get the Six of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Eight of Pentacles. So, as I'm looking at this overall really heart-centered energy for you, I'm seeing you, and it's interesting I mentioned Anchor, because I am seeing you working really diligently on grounding that in to your reality, to your physical world. There is a an interesting dynamic of you being both carefree and really kind of wanting to fly and, and go someplace, but at the same time, grounding into something very physical. It, it's interesting. You you could be traveling in the month of May. For some of you, travel might be on the horizon. Um, or you're trying to organize things in a way that you still feel like you have a lot of flexibility and freedom in your life. Now, the energy connected to you, this is interesting. They get the Three of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. This person at the time doesn't seem to have a very open-heartedness. They're hurt, they're wounded in the heart space. They may be working on mending their heart or getting over something. This could be a friend of yours who's gone through some sort of breakup or heartbreak. This could be some sort of loss for this person. They're feeling a bit defensive to me, a bit um, like maybe they just need to be in their own space a while. In fact, they, they feel more like they are in that kind of energy where they need to work on their self-esteem, their self-confidence. Their heart has been hurt and they need to strengthen the foundation they do show that they will come forward with an offer of love. I'm not sure um, how deep that can really be at this time because they are going through something here. However, we'll need to clarify to really see what's going on. The energies in the middle are really powerful between you and this other person. This is... 
the death and rebirth card comes up. So that's the death card, the number 13 card, and the number 17 card, the star. Which, when I put these two together, they actually look really nice. They look really, they dovetail really nicely together. I can see closure to cycles, and I can see a brand new beginning lighting up the sky. It's it's really interesting here. So somehow, even though the two of you are, are experiencing very different things right now, this could be a relationship that has not yet come into the physical. You're very focused on the physical world and feeling free and maybe some traveling. They're very focused on some sort of heartbreak. There's defense and defensiveness there, but they do intend to come forward with love somehow. So let's clarify. Very interesting energies here, Aries. Let's go with that Six of Pentacles first. The Six of Pentacles is clarified by the Page of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Ace of Swords for you. Yes, you have a lot of determ determination right now around the physical world. And right in the center of that, we have that lovely nurturing queen of cups. That's that energy of the heart coming through for you. And it's neat because you're really applying, you're applying maybe something new you've learned. It almost makes me wonder for some of you, if you're not um, remodeling or working on building something, at your home or on your property or just bringing together resources perhaps and looking at things from new and fresh perspectives but it's it's really beautiful you you are wanting to balance things out and even things out in your physical world and you're doing so from you know just your heart from what you love for the Fool here, you get the Strength card, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. You may be really challenging yourself to get involved in some sort of collaboration. It's something that you've been nurturing for quite some time. I don't necessarily see this as a romantic partnership collaboration. This appears to me to be something that you would like to build with multiple other people. This could be you teaching a class. You could be, you know, offering some sort of course to people. And you may be looking at the kind of people you want to collaborate with. Maybe you are coming up with ideas for a podcast, for example. Don't forget to check out my podcast, The Real Life Mages. That has been a lot of fun. There's two episodes out so far. But for some of you, that's the case. You're like, oh, I would love to do something like that. This also could be somebody that, or a group of friends, or someone that you want to travel with. Now, it's interesting the strength card kind of comes in here, and maybe this has to do a little bit with, you know, just, we've just been through a lot as a society, and, you know, when it comes to travel, you know, we're, we're post, you know, all the hubbub and the the lockdown and all of that kind of thing. And, and this may be taking some strength of, from you or it requires strength of you to kind of come out and uh, really be around people again, let yourself be seen again. You could be struggling with a little bit of like PTSD kind of a feeling. I mean, that really affected everyone in so many different ways. Let's look at this Eight of Pentacles for you. Ooh, oh my. Yeah, Aries, this has all to do with your practical and physical world. Um, this may have to do with you coming up with ways to make a supplementary or passive income. The Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. And you are, there's a lot of solidity here where you are moving forward in some beneficial way for your physical world. There, there's energies of confidence here. There's energies of, I'm not exactly where I want to be yet, but I have my sights stabilized and focused on where I need to go. And I'm putting in the work and effort. However, 
However, in the picture, it's really interesting. The girl is holding a green candle. And remember, we have the green energy of the heart center coming through for you, Aries. So you are making sure that every step of the way that you check in with your heart about all the decisions you're making related to this. Beautiful, beautiful energy to help stabilize yourself. I do not see you being okay with energies of chaos at this time. You're more in the sense of, oh my gosh, rooting yourself down. Um, there's still an element of freedom with the fool here, but kind of like laying roots down. It's really interesting. Let's look at this three of swords for the person connected to you. They get the two of pentacles, the three of wands, and the knight of swords. This person is definitely taking action toward their wounding. The wounding that they have suffered has to do with some sort of indecision, some sort of lack of being able to decide or being able to land in a certain place. I see them really being stalled out by this, this heartbreak or heartache. And, you know, for some this could be something that has boiled up out of the subconscious. So not necessarily even a fresh wound, you know, not necessarily in every case a fresh breakup type situation or some sort of heart pain or loss. This could be something from the past that this person's really taking a look at. And they're, they seem to be putting all their efforts toward that, even in the times where they're confused or stuck. They're still looking at it. For the Seven of Wands, they get the Ten of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, and the Judgment card. I would say this person is definitely going through feelings of guilt at this time. Um, it weighs heavy on them. And they may be standoffish to you or other people around them. If this is someone you know in the physical already, they may be very standoffish because they are healing some, some deep abandonment traumas. And this has been burdening them for a long time. There's a lot of that feeling of guilt, almost to the point where it's cemented in. I feel like they're atoning for their own mistakes. They're looking at their part of things um, and at the same time, it's very difficult for them to be going through this, for them to be looking at this. So there's definitely challenge upon this person or this energy at this point in time. They're going through the ringer, so to speak. Let's look at this Knight of Cups for them, because that's an offer of love. The High Priestess, the Knight of Cups again, and the world. <sighs> mm. <laughs> this is a very whew, rough energy. Um, I love see, actually seeing the high priestess here because for this person, this is the kind of person that if they don't feel active in moving forward with making offers of love when it comes to romantic relationships, they feel like it's the end of the world. And that world card coming in really shows that. I'm starting to get that feeling of like um, emotions flowing, almost like my nose is starting to run. Um, It's, it's actually a pretty defeated feeling right now because they're not ready. It's this wounding and it's this these other energies they're working through, the guilt. That needs the attention right now. I, I do believe their true nature is to come forward through their heart space in a very soul-led, spiritual um spiritually wise way and come forward with an offer of love. 
but also their energy is showing me that if they were to really attempt to do that right now, while not having healed whatever they're going through, that that would kind of bring an end to things, especially with it's not matching up with your energy at this time, which is really interesting because we have the death card and the star in the middle here. And I really want to clarify what that means. The death card is clarified by the six of swords on your kind of falling on your side. That's a moving on to calmer waters, allowing things to allowing the dead to rest, allowing what's dead to lie. On their side is clarified by the seven of cups, which is choice. And I don't, again, with the state that this person is in, I don't know that they are actually choosing. They may be a bit cemented in and a bit stuck, bringing an end to the things they need to bring an end to. And, and not even an end, like we think of a solid end. This is more like a an evolutionary cycle where they learn how to navigate and handle grief, guilt, death, better. They learn how to move through those energies without the burden of this deeper wounding that they have and their part in it. Their part in whatever this was is important and them atoning for their piece of it. So there's regret and guilt there. Interesting, interesting, interesting. If this is someone that you have maybe separated from, to me, this is looking like confirmation that um, you are you've reached a certain phase. And, and this could even be a friendship ending. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic love. Friendships can be very heart centered and heart affected as well. Um, this could have been, you know, a friendship that you've now moved on from. The star is clarified on your side by the Hierophant and on their side by the Nine of Wands. Not only are you so grounded in your energies here, Aries, you're sailing onto those calmer waters. You're, you're finding peace and comfort in the death cycle and the rebirth from that death cycle. You've also gained a lot of spiritual prowess in your own life from this. You have taken back some of your own personal authority However, on this person's side, they feel a little defensive about that. Again, their energy show me that they're either not moving on from what happened between you two or and or they are not ready to really make offers of love or be in your energy because of what they're dealing with. So if you're in the dating scene right now and this is someone you've begun dating, tread carefully, you know, because your way of coming at love and heart-centered energies is not aligned with theirs, at least at this time, at least at this time. And they may still make offers of love, but I think you'll have to really be sure that you uphold your stableness above their whatever offers they're making, if that makes sense. So there is an element of caution here. But again, we have that heart energy. So it's about coming back into the heart space and really trusting yourself. Aries, let's get you a card to close off the reading from the Beyond Lemuria deck. This is a beautiful and very... Um, deep and detailed deck. So I'm really excited to see. You got Earth, number 14, and it says Nurture Nature. You know, you got all those pinnacles there. I am not surprised that Earth comes up for you. You seem to be working with that element at this time. 
looking after the planet, after nature, the ebb and flow of life, the loving embrace of Mother Nature and your sacred connection to her, the natural beauty of death and decay, the macrocosm, the microcosm, spending time in nature, connecting with your ancestors through nature, growth through the weathering the storms, and nurturing the self and nurturing your heart so that you may flourish. The themes right now for you are grounding, finding your roots, reliability, physical healing, nurture, solid foundations, and vitality. And Aries, that's definitely in your energies right now. So hopefully you are focused in on those energies. It seems like this other energy connected to you somehow, not quite in the same place. So sometimes it's a timing thing, or sometimes it's just how people are handling things differently. But if you ground yourself in and trust in your heart, you will come out of this just looking and feeling fantastic. Aries, thank you so much for joining this reading. I love talking to you guys. I love having you here. I've been loving your interactions. Thank you so much for following, for subscribing, liking, and helping me grow. It's a delight to be here with you, and I will see you next time.